Sears want me falling down. They don't want me wearing fancy crowns. Can't they see that I'll be working now? I'm the India that you're pulling down. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel where we talk about sneakers, streetwear, music, and everything in between. I'm your host Icarus and welcome back to the show. I appreciate you guys for stopping by so don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe for more content in the near future, and let's get to it man. And in this episode, I kind of want to talk about grails. And in my opinion, I think they have like at least two versions of grails. That being a holy grail and a personal grail. Now a holy grail when you define it, it's more of a sneaker that it's so unattainable that no matter how hard you look at StockX or no matter how hard you uh, hit up your sneaker plug, they're not gonna have it and it has this astronomical value. But as for a personal grail, it's somewhat attainable but you have to be comfortable at how much you're paying for it. Now that's usually the Shans, the Fear of Gods, the Unions. And that brings me to this video. Because my personal grail are these. And that's the Air Jordan 6, Travis Scott. No, 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 this is not a bluff. Too late to make me change. I've been feeling like a castaway. Sitting waiting on your page. That you about to pull up to the cave. Then we practice 50 shades of gray. Punching on the grain. Yeah. 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 It's lit. Now I'm big on earth tones. I kinda have at least five or six earth tone sneakers that are flesh colored brown wheat colored ale brown it's really easy to rock and when these first leaked back in 2019 i was so hyped for it they were first teased back in 2019 roughly around the days during the super bowl where travis scott wore these on stage together with adam levine wearing his travis scott jordan ones i really like the execution of the sneaker giving off a workwear or utility look with this military olive new book or suede surrounding the shoe now I don't have much green sneakers, but these killed it. The way they come off with that subtle green without doing too much is freaking fire, man. Now this shoe was released back in September 2019 and retailed around $250 or 12,000 pesos here in the Philippines. But it wasn't easy to get them back in the release date. If I remember correctly, I think they released through Titan and they actually formulated a raffle and that's not bad making a raffle for a sneaker but you have to buy a sneaker first just to get a raffle tip from your receipt but nonetheless i never stopped hunting for this sneaker and i'm kind of glad it kind of tanked down in the resale value because around that time during 2019 it really peaked on the resale value i think going toe to toe with the travis ones but this shoe kind of went down on resale recently so when the price settled i never took my eyes off the market value and would hit a price point where i was comfortable in it and at the same time i sold like a couple of dead stock sneakers for a profit i was already comfortable copping and rocking these shoes kind of took it because i had a little hunch that it might creep up in value over time kind of like the off-whites did but then again we'll never know because i'm not planning to sell these anytime soon because i'm really digging the design and the aesthetic of the shoe overall now let's break down the shoe to see what makes it pop First, let's start things off with the box and it comes in this really nice Air Jordan 6 box with an all over olive top and infrared accents all around with Jumpman on the top and Cactus Jack accents all over the box. And as you open the packaging, you still get this infrared liner with the papers and everything and then we get the shoe. And here we go. Yo, I really... Man... <laughs> Yes! And I actually purchased this back in May 2020. Now starting things off from a tip, you have this really nice olive nubuck for the toe guard. Now moving on to the lateral and medial sides, you have this perforated nubuck with 
free am peeping through. And I'm a huge fan on how the Jordan 6 was created because this is like a 23 molded right here in the back of the shoe. That's the two, and this is the free right here in the lace outlets. Now separating the medial and lateral sides of the shoe, you have this really nice perforated charcoal canvas for the tongue. And moving up to the tongue, you have this canvas lace guard with an infrared jump man stitch in center. And another hidden detail which I really like is when you open this lace guard, you actually see the Cactus Jack branding sewn inside with infrared stitching. Now that really stands out when you're actually legit checking this sneaker because you could really check for these small intricate details. And finally moving at the end of the tongue, you have the smoky translucent gray material with Jordan embossed in the top. But with a charcoal canvas liner behind the tongue with distress accents right on top. Now moving into the lateral ankle of the shoe, you get the most identifiable feature of the Jordan 6 Travis Scott. And that's the canvas stash pocket right here. With another hidden detail, because when you open the stash pocket, you actually see an infrared smiley for a Cactus Jack logo right here. And to me, I really like this canvas pocket because it melds well with the structure of the Jordan 6. Because usually, the Jordan 6 is a bulky shoe with these bulky bulges right on the lateral and medial ankle. But when you change out the lateral ankle, you get a second look. You really get a second look because that's not what you're used to seeing. But then again, it really melds well in this collaboration. Now moving into the back part of the left shoe, you have the Nike Air branding stitched in infrared right here. But for the right shoe, you get the Cactus Jack branding stitched in infrared. Now still in the back part of the shoe, you get this smoky translucent spoiler with an infrared hit right at the back. Now moving into the guts of the shoe, you have this charcoal inner liner, really soft to the touch with a blacked out insole with Nike Air branding printed in white. Finally, moving into the midsole and outsole, you get this really nice blend of black and white for the midsole with an infrared airbag popping right here. And as for the outsole, you have this really nice milky glow-in-the-dark outsole with black and infrared accents right here. And they executed it well on the sneaker because it really would pop in the nighttime or you know just going out through a hot day and going inside the building, you'd really see that outsole pop. And it really blends well with this sneaker because of its all-over olive upper. Now as for the laces, the Air Jordan 6 Travis Scott does come with default olive laces. But it does come with two extra laces, one being charcoal and one being bright yellow if you want to give it a little more pop. But to me, I'm gravitating more than the charcoal laces. I actually switched one out with charcoal laces and it really looks clean because it melds well with the tongue. What do you guys think? Should I stick with the charcoal laces or just go with the olive default laces? What do you guys think? And last but not least, the Air Jordan 6 Travis Scott does come with an infrared lace lock with a black Jumpman printed in the front and Cactus Jack branding at the back. And as for sizing and fit, the Travis Scott Jordan 6 does seem to fit true to size as I am a true size 12. But at first inspection when I was wearing thinner socks, it actually is roomy. So if you're a normal size footer and you tend to wear thinner socks all the time, you can actually get away wearing an 11.5, a half size down. But if in your wardrobe you are used to wearing thicker socks or if you're a wide footer yourself, I highly suggest going true to size since Jordan Brand is consistent in their sizing department. Once again, my best advice, going true to size. In the end though, I'm really happy I got this purchase for a steal. This has been truly a personal grail for me. And it might be a hot take, but to me, I kind of prefer the Travis Scott Jordan 6 rather than Travis Scott Jordan 1s. Now don't roast me in the comments. I really like the Travis Scott Jordan 1s. Don't get me wrong, it's a hot shoe. But to me, it kind of got saturated the way sneaker blogs are talking about it every time back in 2019. So I gravitated more on the underdog or the underrated pick, the Travis Scott Jordan 6. And there's this one sneaker horror story going on in StockX where there's this one guy who mailed like tons of Air Jordan 1 Travis Scotts which are fakes and a lot of them actually passed. So I don't know man, I really feel like I couldn't touch a Jordan 1 Travis Scott yet because I don't know if it's real or not man. I really don't know if it's real or not. So I am passing with the Jordan 1s. I'm sticking with my Jordan 6s. And probably my next personal grail would be maybe the Sean Wotherspoons. 
Air Jordan 1 Unions or probably uh, the Jordan 4 Travis Scott's definitely Jordan 4 Travis Scott's speaking of rocking this pair I actually wore this pair in a music video I did link down below it's called Brown Skin King if you kind of want to get a Travis Scott or Pop Smoke vibe to it and a huge huge shout out once again to my brother John Roy Fajardo for letting these off for a deal last year I appreciate you brother and I'm looking forward for more size 12 deals in the near future well that's enough about me man how about you guys leave a comment down below and let me know what's your personal grail or what are your thoughts on a Travis Scott Jordan 6 down below in the comments. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram right here at rural.icarus. Yep, make sure you subscribe that too. Once again, folks, Brown Skin King out right now. Like, comment, subscribe for more sneakers, streetwear, and music related content right here on the channel. I am Icarus, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. We only judge you from behind the back with brand new bands We kick me out the rodeo, let me lasso back Mars like Corona, I'm sick of old, like I'm ass to go check going down They don't want me wearing fancy crowns Can they see that I've been working now? I'm the India that you put them down These haters want me falling down They don't want me wearing fancy crowns can they see that I be working now? I'm the India that you're pulling out. Look.